Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about how to take care of a rabbit. This rabbit was attacked last week and he was he had a broken leg and he had a hole in his back. A hole in the back is gone now and I've been picking dandelion leaves and today I just wanted to give you some tips on taking care of a rabbit because that's what I am. Now this isn't the typical video but I had this rabbit to take care of just because I heard him screaming outside. I ran up, there was a cat, and the cat ran off, and he had a hole in his back, broken leg, and then there was no other rabbits there, so I didn't want to leave him because the cat would just eat him, and he's too cute, so I took him in. My wife went and bought a little cage to keep him in because since he has a broken leg, we don't need him running around and hurting himself even more. So what we do is we come outside, we pick clovers and dandelion leaves every day, and this guy eats so much. So today, I wanna pick some dandelion leaves, show you, which, show you what they look like, and then I'm gonna put them in the cage and show you how much rabbits love dandelion leaves, if you didn't know. Uh, but dandelion leaves grow out in the yard, and they're easy to find, so let's get started. So this is what a dandelion leaf looks like, and we can actually find them uh, pretty close. What we do is we just look for some of these little yellow flowers and look at that there's another dandelion leaf Boop. so I'm gonna go ahead and put these with mr. rabbit and my kids de decided to name him lucky as you can see he's freaking out right now cuz you know he doesn't know what's going on but he knows there's some dandelion leaves coming in let's see what he does look at that look at that and I'm telling you this guy eats so much we can actually put a pile of dandelion leaves in here I mean just you could smash it with your hands and it's a pile like this and in the morning it'll be gone he loves dandelions That's awesome. Look at that. How to take care of a rabbit. Give him some water, give him some bedding, a little cage if he's got a broken leg. If he doesn't and he can run, let him go out into the wild, especially if he's big enough. He's just hungry. Look at that. He's gonna eat all those. All those ones I just picked, four or five. You're hungry, aren't you, buddy? All right, I'm gonna go get you some more dandelions because it looks like you're about to eat the last one. Yep, you just ate the last one. That's awesome. And uh, hopefully, if the leg heals, you know, six weeks from now, uh, he's going to be really big, by the way. Then we'll be able to let him outside, let him run around. Hopefully, he'll come back. If he doesn't, good. He belongs in the wild. Oh, dandelion leaf. Perfect. He loves dandelion leaves. He actually loves clovers as well. But we have found out that this guy loves dandelion leaves more than the clovers for sure. And we also feed him lettuce. I grow lettuce in my aquaponics, and he eats the lettuce. He loves it. All right, buddy. Look, he's already eaten every bit of that. I'll put this in, and he'll yell a bit. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. So skittish. I know this is a little bit different of a video, but I had to take the rabbit or leave him and him get killed by the cat. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to leave this rabbit. I'm going to take him inside, let my kids see him, fall in love with him, and then let my wife deal with him. Yeah! It's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we got clovers out here. Look at all these clovers. And then we got dandelion leaves. 
My wife has picked a bunch of these. So now if you watch this video, you'll know what you need to do. I love it. Look at that bee. I like these, they throw these little seeds everywhere. All right, thanks for watching guys. Say bye. It's okay. Eat up my friend. I'll protect you for now. Till you're well. Also, we put uh, some collodial silver collodic silver however you want to say it on the hole or the wound on the top of his back where the cat had bit him and that seemed to heal up the wound so collodial silver check that out if you want a natural method to treat the wound of the animal so success all right thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends if they have a rabbit they found in the woods that was being attacked by another animal and they wanted to save it and they wanted to actually take the time to take care of it, they love dandelion leaves. You're going to have to get a handful, at least two or three handfuls a day because they eat a lot, a lot of dandelion leaves. But you can do it. This is my front yard. I've got plenty of mounts. And actually my wife said that she was out here picking dandelion leaves and she could see where the tops of the dandelion leaves were um, eaten. So... There's other rabbits, there's other animals out here who are eating on this. So I guess the moral of the story is don't mow your yard because then the animals have food. <laughs> Ban all mowers. No, I'm just kidding. All right, see you guys later. Forgot to mention that he loves being rubbed, petted, cuddled. And that's pretty awesome. All right, now I'm going to show you a video of when I first found Mr. Rabbit, or AKA Lucky. So if you guys want to know where I found the bunny, if you're interested in that, I'm going to show you right now where I found this bunny. I found this, you know, this is my grow here. It's okay, Jack. That's my house. And I found the bunny right here. Heard him squealing, screaming, making lots of noise like an animal's attacking him. I actually had to, so I couldn't get to him at first because this fence was surrounding the area right here. And as you can see, this little fence here, if you can see that. And I found the bunny right here. Right here. And he was alone. And I went to go pick him up and he started limping and trying to get away, but he obviously couldn't walk or run or anything like that. Now, if you set him down, he can kind of run, though his, his leg's still messed up though. So but yeah, this little fence here, see this little fence now? You can see it. All right. I like to give attention to my two favorite animals, Buddy and Jack. There's Jack and there's Buddy, and that's my chair. That's where I sit and I eat in front of him. Yep, that's right. It's animal abuse. Just kidding. Oh, he's like, what am I getting today? What am I getting today, Daddy? I love you. I love you, too. Mwah. I love you, man. I love you, man. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. Now I got to give some love to my buddy now. Oh, hey, watch it now. I love you, too, buddy. I have to get in there and play with him every day because I, I gotta let them know that I love them. And when I give one attention, the other one wants attention. And when I give the other one attention, 
Then this one wants attention. <laughs> I love you. Buddy, such a good dog, man. Such a good dog. And I got him a really nice play area, man. Built him a house. Look at all that green grass. I love you guys. What have you been doing today? What have you been doing? We're doing we was doing a video about a rabbit. Figured I'd throw y'all in here. Show people how sweet y'all are. How awesome you are. He'll just sit there. He'll sit there all day. And be loved on. Then Jack gets in the way and <laughs> I love you guys. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I gotta go in there, man. I can't let you guys sit here and do this. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Hey! Hey! But watch it. They're like, let me out. Alright, I gotta let them out, guys. See y'all. Hope you're healthy. Hope you're happy. This is Tad reminding you. Don't lose your mind. Keep it right here.